Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to talk about using an application called Belvedere to be able to manage and move around your documents. Belvedere comes from the folks over at lifehacker.com which is a productivity blog and it's totally free and you can you can download it from the link that you see on the screen. And what Belvedere is, is and they've been totally upfront about this. Uh, it's basically a Windows port of a popular Mac application called Hazel. Now, uh, it's not as fully featured as Hazel, but Belvedere does some of the basic stuff that Hazel could do, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So once you've downloaded and installed Belvedere, you'll see down here at the bottom, there is a little Belvedere icon in your system tray, and if you don't see it there, you might need to click on the triangle to show all your icons, but mine is showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Belvedere here. I'm going to go up to manage. So what we're going to do is we are going to take some documents and make a rule so that Belvedere will watch a certain folder and when we see a document named a certain way it's going to move it to a location that we want to move it to. So this can be great for recurring documents like maybe monthly bills, and that sort of thing. You can set up rules to automatically take some actions. And so in this section here we have a list of folders and those are the folders we want to watch. And there's nothing here yet so we're going to add a folder here and documents and I'm going to hit OK. So I'm telling Belvedere that I want to watch this folder, this documents folder. And this section over here is where we create our rules. We tell Belvedere that we want to take some action. So we're going to hit the plus sign here to add a new rule. And let's just say this is going to be our gas bill. And I'm going to set it to enabled. And this section here is where we come up with the criteria. So this is where we say we want Belvedere to look for these type of files. So I'm going to say extension is PDF. So we want to watch for PDF files only. And I'm going to hit the plus sign to add another criteria. And I'm going to say name contains so somewhere in the name, this text has to be gas bill, let's just say. And that's good for now. And in this section here, oh, and by the way, you can see there's a whole bunch of different criteria we can use. You can look name, extension, size, if you want to do something with files that are large. You can do you know stuff with recent files using the date. There's different things you can do. And down here we have the action. This is where we're actually going to do something. So we're going to say do the following. And you can see we can move, rename, recycle it, delete it, copy it, open, print. You can do a bunch of different stuff. We want to move the file. And let's say we, we're going to move it to, because this is a gas bill, we're going to move it to this bills folder here and hit OK. So if this file is a PDF, if it has the name dash gas bill in it somewhere, let's move it to this folder. And we're going to hit OK. And you can see I have an enabled rule here called gas bill. And let's close this down. And so I have two, two folders here side by side. This folder I have here, this window I have here on the left is the folder with some documents that I could move. This folder here on the right, you can see up here, is that Bills folder. And this is the folder that, that Belvedere is watching right now. So let's just say I've scanned my documents. And now I'm going to rename them. And let's just say I, I want to have the date in there. But I'm going to put dash gas bill. And I'm going to hit Enter. So now I've renamed that file, 
And you can see, I didn't do that. That was Belvedere. It saw that document with the name dash gas bill in it, and it automatically moved it to my bills folder. So you can see how the Belvedere could be a way that you could set up some rules to automatically move files for you based on the names that you give them, and that way you don't have to move them around to the different files, and you're sure they're going to go to the right place every time. That's Belvedere. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks a lot.